In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create this 5 opinion FX. So firstly, we'll be starting off with this stylized CIT look. To start off, in my timeline, you can see this Ken Carson clip I pulled up. So we're gonna add the effect on here. So the first effect we'll be adding is Web Warp. Then go over to Direction and set it to 0. And go over to Width and lower it down around like 1 or 2 or 3. Then you can lower down the height as well to your liking. So we have a little bit of display placement going on then after that you can add like a curves in it and lower down the shadows a little bit and bring up the highlights a little bit so we have a bit of like dark look going on then to match the world warp we'll be adding a sapphire scan lines if you don't already know this is like a plugin so make sure you have sapphire before trying to add this but anyways go over to the frequency firstly and set it to like 75 and go over to where it says line shift and just all click on the stopwatch and it should bring this expression on the timeline and you just gotta select it to edit and write like time asterisk then on it this is the code right here now if i play through you can see like the scan lines are moving you can even go to like add grain on the lines and bring it up slightly don't do it too much you can always bring up the web word more if you like let's just go with like 10 on the high because i think it's like too low and in way width we're gonna set it to three so it's a bit thin as well then now you can simply add any type of glow that you like i like to go with like a deep glow and you can just bring up the size and lower down the exposure a little and then to top it all off i like to add a sapphire flicker on it so sapphire flicker and just bring up the amplitude to 1.4 or something like that i mean 1.4 thousand actually then after adding the flicker make sure to put like your deep glow before the flicker as well so just put it before your flicker now finally our first opium effect looks something like this so let's just move into our second effect which would actually be like this glitchy effects we're using sapphire to do this so let's just get it so in my timeline you can see this like ken carson clip i pulled up start off we're gonna add an effect called sapphire dv damage because i think this is the best way to like create glitches with sapphire but anyways go over to the master value first and lower it down to zero almost and go over to waste this fast forward amount and just bring that up like this fast forward reverse lines with these like footage distortion as you can see so we're gonna use that then if you scroll down now and go over to fast forward details open up that and you can just lower down the band frequency actually to like 0.30 or something like that then we'll hit the stopwatch in all of these like the height and speeds to get the look that we want so hit the stopwatch in all of these bring up the keyframes on your timeline by hitting you go up frame forward and just like reposition this maybe something like this and you can just see what works the best for you maybe even something like that there's not like exact like the value to follow in this just try and see what works the best for you so i'm just gonna like mess around for a while then now when you want to end it just lower down the height to zero so it turns into normal now we have played through you can see this like glitches going on that we want you can even like play with the keyframes more if you want or something like that then you can actually copy all of these keyframes put it on forward and you can just lower down the height to zero at the start as well copy those put it again at the forward so something like this to spice up this if you have like universe you can always add like a uni for uni what is called like glitch i guess yeah uni glitch you can lower down the compression amount actually so it is not like that compressed like crazy and one thing i like to do is go to small glitches and lower it down to zero so we only have this like big glitches going on as of me if you also don't like this like color glitches we can go over to the white glitch settings go over to where it says blending mode and set it to none from the color now the color should be removed and i think i'm gonna lower down the frequency just a bit to like 50 50, so it's like really not that often with this as well you can add like a flash to give it some flash when it like glitches so some flicker so you can just lower down the flash bring up the flash so just do that and now we have played through you can see our second effect is also done so now let's just move into our third effect which would actually be effects and presets what i'm talking about is my new preset pack which is actually called opium fx comes with a lot of opium type of effects in it so i'm going to showcase you some of the effects in it and if you like it you can always like go to my store and purchase that but anyways let's go to animation preset open up user preset and open up opium pack and right away you can see 
see all of this preset right here that we can use i like glist vhs damage so let's just apply it and you can see this like vhs damage type of look really easily in our clip and if you notice it a lot of like ken caution music video uses like a lot of vhs with like all the distortion and stuff so it is like based on that inspired by ken caution we also have jennifer body so we're gonna just drag in here and if you drag and drop right away you can see the effect that the music video had like the jennifer's body's music video so that's the look right here and another cool one is like a psychedelic color as the name says it's like some dope color glitches black and white ntsc is also a really cool one as well we have put in here you can see this crazy like threshold with all these glitches type of effect really realistic so if you want to download this pack i'll link it in the description it's actually really really dope i put it a lot of effort and like i researched a lot to get the best vhs and opinion look but not only on realistic side it also features some like stylized look for your edit as well so i'll link it in the description it's totally dope but anyways let's move into our fourth effect which would actually be this oz threshold effect it was firstly done in like like Ken Carson, Jennifer Bowie music for you, I guess. And it was a popular style since. So I'm gonna show you how to create this. So firstly, to create the black and white, we'll be using like a effect called threshold. So simply add threshold into your clip, play around as you're liking, but I like to leave it around the default value. Then after that, add like a noise and put it before your threshold, put it before, and you can just bring up the noise. Now you can see that simply we have this crazy look going on. To top it off, you can always add like a set f5 flicker and just bring up the amount a little bit you can put it before threshold and experiment around this flicker on the threshold as well but anyways our third effect is simply done as well so let's just move into our fifth one which would actually be a plugin it is like a really underrated plugin it is called ntsc that's what my presets are based on as well so i'm gonna show you how to use it so in the description you will find like a free download from the drive yes it was a free plugin Login, you don't have to like pay for anything and the best part is it was actually firstly available on github so i downloaded it and uploaded it to my drive so it's like easy for you to download but anyways after you download and install just add it onto your clip and instantly you will get this like super cool vhs look and in your effects control you'll get like hella controls so the one that i like is compression noise it gives this like really cool noises and stuff and one of my favorite is snow you, if you bring up the snow as you can see you get this like scratches which looks really realistic it's almost looks like identical to the original vhs scratches and another really cool one is a uh, tracking noise so if we add like tracking noise it would give this like tape recorder kind of look in the bottom and you can just bring it up more so something like this you can see that looks really realistic right there and you can go over to the chroma phase noise in the bottom and you can control like the saturation with it actually and in the bottom in the edge wave you can just bring it up a little so it's like a bit like wavy if that makes sense and you can go over to top again and this is like a secret feature of this plugin if you go into like use field and set it to like lower only it would give this like really cool like more of like the vhs look and if you want like more like distortion and everything you can always like change your resolution to half and you would get this crazy distortion and if you want to render your like vhs effect on like half resolution all you got to do is go into file export add to render queue and go to best settings and set it as half and it would give this crazy look so it would also be once you render out not only on your preview but anyways i think with that our fifth effect is also done so that's it for today's video guys if you like this video please consider hitting the like button and also subscribe to my channel for more videos like this you can also follow me on instagram join my discord server so yeah see you in the next video peace